the bombing of the World Trade Center in New York City on February 26, 1993, was the largest terrorist attack to ever occur on American soil. This is the story of ordinary people who became heroes on that infamous day. Five-year-olds go for free, Angel. But all the adults, all my parental volunteers, it's $3.25 if you haven't paid. That's with the big group rate. Oh, Mrs. Del Vacchio, you haven't paid. Here you go, yeah. Okay, very good. Ooh, wow, look at you. Beautiful. This is my treasure. I like to get dressed up when we're going into the city. Sure you do. So can you believe this weather? I was afraid they're going to cancel the field trip. No, we wouldn't disappoint our kids. I no. counted heads. Everyone's here. Okay, Keith, so why don't you take this and this, and why don't you get my class on the bus so we can get started? All right, everyone in Mrs. Tessa Riero's class this way. Mrs. Russo, my students, come this way. Mrs. Russo's class, mothers, we're loading up. One, don't two, tell me you don't three. trust your own assistant. Oh, I don't. It doesn't hurt to double check. Out of the Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, fine, thanks. I'm just getting over the flu. You know what time it is? I'd say it's time to go home. Get back in bed. Tried that yesterday. Thanks anyway, though. Hey, DGIF, partner. What do we got today? We got some pay phones on the main concourse, some lines on the path level. That's the usual. Oh, there's a new bank of phones over by the Port Authority's office. It's a computer hookup. A little tricky. We'll see. So much to learn. Hey, look what you picked up in a month. You got a head on your shoulders. Some of these guys have had to train. Oh, man. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> morning. Yeah, morning. Hope you feel better. Hey, Fred! What it is? <laughs> what it is? I gotta sign in quick. Grillo is already looking for you. Something about not doing the wash basin yesterday. So what else is new? It's worse than a national car. Hey, listen. Lunch time. We'll do four or five hands for a nickel. Going to the World Trade Center, this is the second tallest building in the entire world. Does anybody know what the tallest building is? Mayanita, she knows it's the Sears Tower. 
Let's let Anita tell us that herself. Good morning, sir. Monica, how's that little baby of yours, huh? Ah, uh, he's kicking around pretty good. How about little Freddy? Oh, yeah. I got something to show you. Yeah? Yeah. There we go. Ah, uh, he is so sweet. Yeah, he's my heart. <laughs> Morning. Morning, morning. <coughs> oh, what are you doing here? You look like hell. Hey, this flu cost me my trip to Paris. Hey, my tickets are all prepaid. They're non-refundable. All my friends are skinny ups today. I'm too depressed to stay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel fine. Really. Yeah, sure you do. <laughs> Jack, you can't kick the flu in one day. You know what? I'm gonna feel really good when I can lock myself in my office with my computer. Nice cup of hot tea. Right at the finals. Well, at least think about taking off at lunch, you know? Make it an early weekend. If you live that long. Oh, right, right. Let's <laughs> see how it goes. Oh. Gus, my man. Hey, Kevin. There you go. No way, Kevin. What's the matter with you? The coat you gave me last week, it's plenty, okay? Come on, get out of here. Come on. <laughs> the World Trade Center is on the southern tip of Manhattan and has two towers. And 200,000 people go there every day, and today, we're going to be a few of those 200,000 people. Isn't that exciting? And once again, Manhattan's famous Rescue One firefighter saved the day when fireman Kevin Shea made this dramatic rope rescue from the roof of the 16-story building at... Enjoy your 15 minutes, Kev. That new story put us all on the map. You know something, Kev? My first job out of the station was a rope rescue 20 years ago. Gary's dad was the lieutenant. Oh, th this is a good story. What story? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he's on the roof feeding rope, and I'm hanging going down after this very fat, very naked opera singer who's standing on top of this air conditioning unit. So when I get there, I'm hanging and looking, and she's waiting and wondering. And so finally I said, where do you want me to grab you, lady? <laughs> My dad does it a little different. Yeah, well, I'll tell you something. He was proud as hell the day he stepped into the station. Yeah, well, we all got boots to fill, don't we? Yeah, well, no sponsor's gonna get you into Rescue One. I'll be damn proud if my boy gets in here someday like you two. Okay, guys, roll call. Kevin, you got entry one. Kevin, what are you doing? Are, are you into my mouse traps again? All right, now, come on, damn it, give. I give it up. do it. Hank's got a right to live. Listen, we have got a pest control problem, and I'm in, and I'm in charge of pest control. This is not funny, Jay. The day is coming when those beasts are going to multiply, and there's going to be horses, absolutely horses. Do you hear me? And they're going to keep sweeping down you and all of us, and you are going to be the first one to be eaten alive. Do you hear me? Kevin, you're not listening to me. I'm Good. very serious here. Oh, we're going to 25 years in the 
New York. Their whole life is. They know, never they go never see bother. the thing. I see it. I know. I'm waiting by the door. Money, isn't it? <sighs> That's exciting. It's almost lunchtime. Don't you us are going for Chinese? Oh, thanks, Shirley. I think I'll just hang in here and grab a bite to you at the cafeteria of 43. Poor baby. Hey, look, let me know if there's something I can do for you, okay? Well, actually, you know, uh, you could make me uh, six copies of this. Sorry, asked. So next time I'll know better. Oh, Cheryl, uh, close the door on your way out. Sherry, honey, don't you want to look at the view? Come on, Sherry, it's me. Oh, see, me will make sure everything's okay. Go ahead, why don't you go take a look? Oh. For Valentine's Day, she made him two calls. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy, you know, you could really see forever up here. I think I'll see forever from back here, if you don't mind. Well, what are you, afraid of heights? Just anything over two stories. Oh, I didn't this know. qualifies very nicely. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, kids, let's see what we all see here. Look, it says here on the sign that if you look really closely, you can see seven bridges and six rivers, five boroughs, four stadiums, three airports, two states, and an ocean. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Up a piece of shit metal for this duct. Say, see you in the lunchroom? No, I don't think so. Oh, the National Guard's been on my case, you know. I gotta lose three pounds a month. If I don't, I'm out. After 16 years, I don't think so. Well, we don't eat. We'll just play some cards. If I go to the lunchroom, I'm gonna eat. No, I'm gonna stay here, Danny. No, you and that diet can't win any money from you anymore. Oh, well, that's not bad either. Okay, good. The elevator's here. Who's ready 
ready to go down. Well, my kids are still finishing, so if you're done, go ahead. Okay, okay, we're ready. Let's everybody get onto the elevator. Come on, get all your things. Who's lunch pail? Mine. Mine. Well, you carry it, okay? Come on. Okay, let's everybody get in the elevator. Plenty of room for us all, so no pushing and no shoving. Come on. Get in. Man is waiting. Oh, damn kids must have stuffed it again. You know, I can handle the lines downstairs if you want to work on the phones up here. Twice the work, half the time? Maybe next month. First couple of weeks is the buddy system. Siamese twins. You and me. All right. Maybe I felt the building shake. Oh, nobody's answering downstairs, and the electricity's out. It's a generator. You know they got backups for these kinds of emergencies, so I'm sure the power's gonna be back on in a couple of minutes. Oh God, I don't want to die like this. Somebody help me! Help me! <laughs> take this long? Hello? Is everything okay down here? We're up top waiting for an elevator. Can anybody hear me? Miss Russell, is something wrong? No, no, honey, nothing's wrong. What could be wrong? Everything's just fine. Just fine.
Bless him, that's like a transformer job. Hey, we need help in here! Let's go! You gotta help us. We're below. B1. That way. I'm scared. Well, there's nothing to be afraid of, honey. Oh. No, these elevators, uh, they're built to last a long, long time. Yeah. It's just a power failure. That's all. It's gonna be fixed real soon, right? But it's dark in here and it's hot. I know you're hot. It's because the lights and the and the air conditioning, they're electric, you see? That's why they went off. Why don't you take your coats off, and then, then you won't be so hot. Yeah, and everybody can take your coat off. I'll take mine off, too. It's like we're in Florida, right? Yeah. yeah. What do we do now, Mrs. T? Well, we're just going to wait, that's all. I guess. We're just going to wait. I guess so. Anybody in charge? Can't you do something? I'm a tour guide. What do you want from me? The whole control panel is fried. Oh my god. Don't let them go outside. It's freezing, so go into shock. Here, put it out over here. Uh, right here. Right here. Thanks, you, Lizzie. Rick, get them over here, too. He's losing blood. We'll set up a triage area until help arrives. Hey, take it easy, guy. Listen, kids, why don't you all sit down on the floor? Just right where you are, sit down. There now, isn't that better? Yeah. Yeah. Can anybody hear me down there? We're stuck somewhere around 45. It's getting hot. No, you're not. You are going to be okay. We're all going to be fine if we just sit here and, and relax. <laughs> Listen, don't you have any emergency lights in here? No, ma'am. Here, how about this? There. There, you see, we're all here. We're all together. We're going to be fine, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, my God, I smell smoke. No, that's just my lighter. Put it out, put it out. It's not your lighter. Smell. It's smoke. My Anita, she smells it, too. Probably a couple of minutes. They're at the lunch. Probably. Jack, but... I need to see you. What? There is smoke coming up the stairwell and under no, the door. No, please, don't do this to me. Not, not today, okay? I'm not joking. <laughs> I think the building's on fire. You're the fire warden for this floor. What are we going to do? <coughs> uh, can I have your attention for a minute, everybody? Uh, look, there's there's no need to panic, but there's the chance that we might have to leave the building. So I'd, I'd like everybody to go and get your coats and head for the stairs. Now. Oh, okay, okay. Right. Right. So you gotta tell me Shall I want you to join the office? All right. I'm going to go check the offices and make sure that they're empty. All right. No, no go ahead. All right, we need to hold his neck. It might be broken. Here, put him down here. Do what I do at my pace. No, he was moving when we found him. You can break your neck and keep moving. But move the wrong way, turn your head just a fraction of an inch, and that's it. Rick! This guy's going into shock. I need more sheets. We gotta keep him warm. Hey, what's your name? Can you hear me? I'm Rob Daddio. 
What's your name, pal? Tony. I made a good start. So what's the rest of it? Nice Italian name like Tony probably has a nice Italian last name to go along with it, huh? D'Angelo. Hey, was I right or was I right? So tell me, Tony D'Angelo, how old are you? Hey, can you tell me that? Hey, stay with me, Tony. Tell me how old you are. Come on, Tony. Somebody please tell us what's going on. Well, I knew I'd tell you. I see smoke, so is there a fire or what? And what do we do? I gotta know to keep these kids calm. Huh? Folks, I think we should all go to the other side of the observation deck. Uh, seems to be a little electrical problem down below. Uh, nothing to be concerned about. But no reason to stand here breathing this smoke. So let's go. Okay, come on, come on kids. Listen to the man. We're gonna go to the let's other side children. of the observation deck where children. we came from. Come on, let's all go as quickly as possible, everybody. Come on, everyone. All of Mrs. Russo's class. Do I have everyone? Daddy! Daddy! Find a way in. This is it.
place. Rescue one, dispatch. We need a hose company. B1 level below the Vista Hotel. Fireman down. Fireman down. Look at the ladder. We grew up a down to him. You gotta go topside. Can't do him any good without air. We gotta go. If there's no electricity, there are no elevators. And if there are no elevators, then I'm here pretty much for the duration. Fireman just came by. No time for small talk, folks. Head for the stairs. Hey, what about Phil? I'd appreciate you're not talking about me in the third person. I, I didn't mean. All right, all right. Look, we'll, we'll, we'll carry him. Come on, come on, Brian. Come on, let's just decide. Eighty-seven flights. Yeah, if that's what it takes. I'm not gonna leave you up here alone. Put your armor on my But side. I hate this. Just do it, Phil. One, two, three. Up. Oh. Damn it, Jack. If I kick your cold, you're gonna hear about it. You know, look, mister, we gotta go somewhere. I can't let these kids sit here breathing in all this smoke. There's only one place to go. Up. You mean the roof? Oh, my God. Don't cry now. Don't cry. There's no reason at all for anybody here to cry. No reason? <coughs> this is Tessariaro. We shouldn't have come on this trip in the first place. I mean, it was snowing, it was cold, it was not a day to set foot out of Brooklyn. And my Anita, she should not be in this well, elevator. Mrs. Wayward, being stuck here is really bad enough. Complaining does nothing at all to help the situation. Now, if you really feel you've got to complain, go somewhere else, please. I am going to throw up. Now, we discussed this. Nobody here is going to throw up. <laughs> oh, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, well, fine, fine then. You feel better now? Where is my fur coat? It's really bad. You have radar or what? <laughs> Patience here. What are you trying to cause a stampede? Yeah, I'm head of security. Good. Go be head of security somewhere else. Rick, find an EMS medic, will ya? Yeah. This guy right. needs somebody fast. B1, we have a man down. Get a hose on. Let's go. Hey, look, look, look. I want to find another way into Kevin, okay? You got all the help you need up here. You're right. Go on, both of you. Oh, I got you! 
Listen to me. I know that some of you must be afraid, okay? And that is a very natural thing to be. Everyone is afraid of something. I'm going to tell you a secret. I myself am afraid of heights. It's true. And some people might be afraid of the dark or of loud noises. Now, I imagine there might even be some people who are afraid of teddy bears. <laughs> Is anybody here afraid of teddy bears? No. No, but there is, if there is something that you're afraid of, what you have to do is face it head on. You have to stand up to that fear. Tell it you're not going to be afraid of it anymore. And you know what happens when you do that? What? Well, it sees that it can't scare you anymore. And it goes away. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Hold on. Barry, keep it together. Give me a hand. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Barry. Barry. Come on. Hey, no, come on. Come on. Hold on to me. How do you hold enough jack to keep on the line? Four forty miles. Yeah. Who do you think you set your mind to? It's not my mind. It's gonna be as strong as my arms. I've been seven floors. I didn't ask either one of you to do this. Here, let me help. Okay, easy, easy. Oh, yeah. Sorry.
Bruce. Working on the air conditioning. When the thing went off, something hit me in the head. Tell me. Tell me how bad. You want to know how bad? You look like you got punched in the head. A little cut, a little blood. You'll be fine. I think I'm gonna get sick. If you gotta, then go ahead and be sick. Just tell me when and I'll help you, all right? Hey, stay with me, Tony. Tony, stay with me. honey and we can't go down so they want us to come up here when the problem's fixed we can go back to the bus what kind of problem you remember at the carnival when the popcorn machine broke and uh there was a lot of black smoke coming out of it that's the kind of like this problem only it's a much bigger machine and a lot more smoke see how it's on your face what's on my face already wait a minute here i'm gonna say Oh, my! Doesn't Mrs. Russo look funny? Hey, it's a good thing I brought this big pocketbook. Everything we might need. This is what I made, a wet, moist towelette. I don't know. I'm not the only one with a funny face. Two, two, six, seven, 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 seven. Atlanta hasn't hit bottom yet? We've got at least four floors. Move! Move! We've got to get Kevin out of here. I didn't abandon him. I didn't. Down the cabinet. It's still hot, but we can cover. I got another hose coming up. What do we hear from Gary and Jimmy? Nothing, Jimmy. Can you find a way down? Every damn staircase I tried is blocked. Hey, hey, nobody, excuse me. How do we get down to B3? Uh, elevators are out, you have to take the stairs. We're all blocked at this end. What else can we try? Shit, hey, company. Hey, hey. Security, don't you know your own damn building? My partner's down there. How do we get to him? Hey, what? It's not his fault. No one knows anything. Come on. We'll find a way down, come on.
Someone says it's a bomb in the parking garage. Six or seven floors gone. I don't know what's holding the building up. I, um, I know what we can do. We've got a recital coming up, don't we? Why, why don't we practice some of our songs? Who can remember a song from Yankee Doodle? Yankee Doodle, okay, that's good. Let's try singing that. Yankee Doodle went to town, riding on a pony. Stuck a feather in his hat and called the macaroni. Yankee Doodle, keep it up. Where are you from? California. My first trip to New York. <laughs> Just your luck, you get stuck in an elevator with two dozen kids. If I were you, I'd sue my travel agent. Yeah! This is a good sign, right? This is a good sign. I gotta go find my buddy. I need your attention. The power in this building is not going to be going on for quite some time. But no power means no elevators. All right, that means we've walked down. 107 flights? Well, the smoke in the other tower is worse. So we'll give it our best shot. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Come on, kids. Come on, we gotta go. Hurry up. Get your things together. Everybody, come on. Move fast. Come on, take your stuff. Let's keep going. Oh, boy, you kids. Now we gotta walk down steps. There's a staircase on the other side of the building. Maybe it's not so busy. Worth the try. All right, come on here. <laughs> I've handled everything life threw at me for some 40 odd years now without any help from you or anybody else. Yeah, well, you're independent, fine. But you can keep your pride. And you can die of smoke inhalation here. Or you can admit that you can use a hand and let me help you. Damn you. Damn you, Phil. Everybody needs a hand now and then. You're no exception. And like it or not, we're your best shot. Now let's go. Hey, come on. Come on. Excuse me. Easy. Hey, come on. <laughs> You're gonna need a collar because Chance's neck is broken. Tony, you're gonna be all right. You're in good hands now. If I don't make... I don't want to hear that kind of talk. Whatever happens... Will you call my mama? She worries. Let her know, okay? Sure, Tony, whatever you want. What's the number? 555-0713. Five, 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 Please. I promise. I got a mother who worries, too. Thanks. Take care. Yeah. Reactions are good. He's gonna make it. 
did a good job. You're going to be all right. You never stopped talking to the guy. What was going on there? Somewhere there's, there's this little piece of their mind saying, just let me die. Sometimes they listen to it. Sometimes they don't. If you got no equipment, the only thing you can do is keep them from listening to that little voice. May you do that much, you won't have to battle. Let's go. Hey man, where'd you learn how to do all that? Atlantic training, Gulf War. A lot of people just would have gotten the hell out of there. How could I look my son in the face and tell him I didn't help? I gotta find a phone. Everybody gets one. There's no light in the stairwell. So you can use these to see, okay? Mr. Falacha, you're Whoa. the principal. Tessie would have called you first. Wait a minute, what are you talking about? Anna Maria's not... You, she's not with me. I, you haven't heard from her? Not a word. And the officials tell us everyone is out but your group. Oh, that's ridiculous. You know, she would have called them in if she got to the bus. Then where is she? Oh, my God. It, the elevator. She got on it right before it happened. She must still be on it. I gotta go. Sir, sir, there's another class. Mrs. Tessariero, she's in the express elevator. The elevators are empty. No, you're wrong. She's definitely in there. I'm sure of that. She has to be. It's a teacher and the class, the parent. I mean, a full elevator is missing with all that smoke that's in the oh, shop. We'll check just... floor by floor. If they're there, we'll find them. Okay, please. Thank you. Thank you. Is it 80? Thank you, Best. sir. Okay. Okay. That's it, bring it up right here. Get the rest of those hot spots out. Then we'll walk down together. Excuse me, please. Can you believe what's going on at the Trade Center? The van I rented was stolen. I would like my $400 deposit back. It began 
that at 18 minutes after 12 noon with a devastating explosion that ripped through the subterranean parking garage at the World Trade Center. Initially, it was believed that the blast was caused by a transformer explosion. But now emergency... You been watching this? Oh, yeah. NYPD got a call taking credit for a bomb 15 minutes after the explosion. Anything to it? Well, you put it with the reports coming from the scene, it sounds like they got a crater down there big enough to give the Beirut bombing some real competition. Oh, that's not on the news. Have you heard from the executive committee? Uh-huh. Put it together, Tag Man. We have been activated. Okay, we're gonna go down the stairs now, kids, so turn your flashlights on. Yes, sir. Listen to the nice violin. Everybody turn your lights on. There we go. I can hear you. Good. Looks like we're getting it. Ready, let's go. Okay. 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 Right, right up. Easy. Right. Going over. Slap. Easy. Slap. 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 Okay. Speed it out. Okay. Let me down. Let him down. Let him down. Let him down. Be careful. Careful, kids. Okay, everybody, everybody hold on to a rail. Right side, left side, two aisles. Come on, hold on. Gary, Gary over here. You all right? Did you find him? Nice. I mapped her out in. You ready? Here's a fresh bottle. Let's go. Jack, you've got to put me down. We'll get treatment in the darkness if we stop right now. Sweat it through your shirt. The cold air outside will kill you quick as a smoke. I can't, I can't do that right now. We've got 40 more floors. We'll just take one step at a time. Listen easy. Left door is open. Come on! Left door is open. Left door is open. Left door. talked with Rosemary Russo. She tells me everyone in her class is fine, but I'm sorry to have to tell you there's been no word as yet from Mrs. Tessariero. Now, I'm just as concerned as all of you are, but we're in contact with the fire department and they tell me things are getting under control and there should be good news 
very soon. As soon as I know, you'll know. I promise. How do you She has to go to the bathroom. Your Anita is asleep over here on Keith's lap, Mrs. Wayborn. Please, just relax. I just heard from the ground floor. They know we're up here. It's going to be a little while. They're getting the grown-ups out of the other elevators first. Wait a minute, the grown-ups? The grown-ups? Did you tell them that we have kids in here? Did you tell them we have asthmatic kids? You tell them that, please. Okay, well, they're, they're going to get us out of here real soon. Fire department response to the Twin Towers has now reached an unprecedented 16 alarm. The largest in New Would you believe the Empire State Building just got a bomb threat? They're into a full evacuation. Liz, let's get a team on it. And you, my friend, are going to put some of your old army experience to use. They call for forensics teams? ATF NYPD bomb squad. As soon as it's clear they're going in, I want you with them. I gotta call my wife. She's gonna kill me. Today's our second anniversary. We had reservations. Liberation of Kuwait had a second today, too. They got to him. At least you found a way in. Let's go for some ladders. We're gonna need a way out. Ben wants dispatch. We have an injured fireman on B4. Rescue personnel need rope and ladder equipment. Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. There's a guy over there. One at a time, Kevin. Take it easy. All right.
help you? Yes. A van I rented, it was stolen. The agency told me a police report was required in order to get my deposit back. Let's start with your name. Solomon. That first or last? Last. My first name is Mohammed. Uh, thanks, Lou. <laughs> Damn, it's good to see you. <laughs> you had a scared kiddo. I lost your flashlight. It's a cinder block. Yeah. Hey, do we need this conversation? <laughs> <laughs> Taxi! <laughs> 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 Does anyone know how long it's been? I can't see my watch. About four hours, five maybe. Was it a bomb? No question it's a bomb. From the reports we have so far, it appears that Ground Zero was here uh, in the parking garage on level B2. There are five people known dead so far. Four of them were here behind the tower, one wall on B2. The other was in a car in the garage. Blast decapitated him. It's got to be organized and professional. Amateurs don't build bombs to do that. You got your first shot at proving that. Crank up the search teams. They just opened the doors. Okay, it's going to be a spoonful at a time. Don't wait up. Tag. Hmm? Happy anniversary. You ever like that thing? Only when I'm PO'd. Can't believe how good your kids have been. Yeah, they're good kids. They're from Brooklyn. <laughs> What's that? It's coming from up there.
Well, hey. Oh, you got no wheels, huh? Alone. They're sending me home in the first taxi. Oh. Well, I've got a spare at home that can run circles around this thing. You all right? I should be asking you. Jack, if there's ever anything, any way I can repay you. You buy me lunch. Chinese. You got it. Walk down faster than this. Be my guest. We got two floors to go. Okay, I want everybody to put their coats on. We are going to look civilized when we step off this elevator. I can't find my car. Somebody took my car. Baby? You are something else. I'm a teacher. And I'm 103? Yeah. Lockerbie? Mm hmm This one's gonna take at least that long. Over here. Two kids. Anthony and Hector, they're still up on 45. Alone? There are other firemen up there. They'll bring him down the stairs. <laughs> this is me. Oh, my God. You gave me such a scare. Oh. Hey, kids, this way out. Thank follow me. You. All right, everybody, follow the fire. Oh, yeah. 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 I understand. Look, Doc, here's what's important. They put metal into a fireman's leg, he don't go back to work. I am going back to work. We'll see. Lou, tell her. We walk up a lot of stairs, carry at least 100 pounds every trip. We'll try to work it out in surgery. Now. Hey, Kev, it wasn't our best day. Yeah, you know, so it's going to get better. Kev, look, I know what you're thinking, all right, and I don't even want to hear it. Anytime I'm in trouble, anytime, I want you there calling the shots, and that's it, okay? You're the best, and that's good enough for me, okay?
I'm all with you. Oh, fine, everybody with this fun party. Get going. Oh, one more party. Get the on staff. Get the on staff. The station told me all about it. How you doing, son? It wasn't good today, Dad. We didn't do our job. I know what you're feeling, Gary. I had days like this when I was on the drive. This is different, Bob. No, it's not. You go when you're called. And when you get there, sometimes it doesn't happen the way you like. But that's the way it is. Take some time with this, Gary. But know this. You did your job. piece of truck axle. Severely stressed. See the feathering here, here, mm -hmm. gluing, dappling. Toss this far. Gotta be damn close to ground zero. How close? It may be right under it. Oh. So you say maybe this isn't locked. Not if we can pull a VIN number off that baby. Okay. Let's get on. was saturated with nitrates and I'll give you 50 to 1 it's from the vehicle that carried the bomb well now look what we have here Ryder truck rental Alabama Tank man, what do you bet it's been cataloged somewhere around here? Couldn't be that lucky. You found the axle. Hmm. I don't believe it. This Mohammed Salome has even been back asking for his deposit. And get this, he put down an address in Jersey City. All right, I'll send the team. You set up surveillance, we'll get the search warrants going. You know what I said about this thing being pulled off by pros? I take that back. Well, I wouldn't jump off that idea too quick. Does the name No Sayer ring a bell? Well, sure, he was the one charged with the assassination of Kahane in 1990. Found not guilty doing time on related charges. Yeah, that's him, that's him. Seems Salome has been one of his regular visitors at Attica. I find him and stay with him. Right now, surveillance is the only way we have to nail down any kind of conspiracy.
Home again. This guy's getting real boring. Should we make any adjustments to the cover? No, we'll stick with this pattern. T1, this is operation. Switch to tech one. Roger. T1, go. T1, anything at all stirring with Salome? Uh, nothing. No contact with anyone. Uh, I'm afraid we're going to be in the trenches for a while on this one. It's over, Tag. The executive committee ordered us to take him. Why, well, that's, a, that's a real bad call. I mean, an early arrest will... They had no choice. Press picked up the story. They're publishing at six. Oh, well, they're bastards. They're greedy, irresponsible, number-sucking bastards. Don't they know how many lives are at stake until, until we bag everyone? If they do, they don't care. We're not airtight on Salome, you know that? Yeah. That's the problem. My name is Mohammed Salame. I was told my deposit money was available. Oh, Mr. Salame, yes, yeah, someone left a note about that. Uh, could I see some ID? Okay. Uh, the address on your license is in Brooklyn, but that's not the same address on your rental agreement. I used to live in Brooklyn with a friend. Now I live here in Jersey City. Hmm. Well, that explains that. Here you are. How are you today? Not good, I take it. Hi, I was looking for Mr. Salome. He used his address on a rental van. We owe him a $400 refund on his deposit. Yes, sir. He's not here right now. Oh, in that case, these gentlemen have a warrant to search. <laughs> Elga Brownie, right? No says cousin? Fundraiser? He's still in Attica?
This is a nice haul, Jack. Nice thing you kept the storage receipts in his wallet. I never worked a terrorist group that was this accommodating. Yeah, with what we have here, compared to the amount purchased, the Trade Center bomb calculates right at 1,200 pounds. I don't know. This still seems too complicated for the dummies we have. Well, I got a feeling we're going to be going after a few more of his pals. This one. This one is next. Salome's been calling him from here. A lot. He also shares a bank account with him. Funded out of Germany. Nidal Ayad. Never heard of him. Well, there's no reason you would. He's legal. Family man. Employed. Educated. I'm waiting, Jack. Graduate of Rutgers. Chemical engineering. Tell me you know where to find this guy. I know where to find this guy. of the World Trade Center resulted in $300 million in property damage, 1,000 people injured, and six deaths. Mohammed Salame, Nidal Ayad, Bilal al Kazi, and Mahmoud Abu Halima have been indicted for aiding and abetting in the deaths of six persons by use of an explosive device. Ibrahim El Gabroni was indicted for obstructing justice. Mohammed Ajaj was indicted for conspiracy. Ramzi Youssef is on the FBI's most wanted list. Trial is set for September 14, 1993. The investigation continues. Hey, partner. Hey, heard the great news. 90 days of therapy are good as new, huh? My source says a year, maybe. You know, I thought a lot about that day. Felt like we're all pretty useless. Gary, you know... Hey, listen, let me finish. My dad said I was wrong feeling that way. I mean, we did what we could, and that's it. Stared a few people in, made a beachhead, just like he said. But, see, it wasn't enough for me. It wasn't enough until uh, this came in the station. Yeah, it's for you. What does it say? Get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Kevin, get well soon. God bless. You and all the men in Rescue One are in the thoughts and prayers of those who know you and others that don't have that privilege. It's signed the 43rd Street Panhandler. Gus. Yeah. That was nice of him. Yeah. Says a lot. 